Hello guys, I'm Kiri, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about TVR 280i convertible. Originally this car was presented in 1980 as a TASMIN. Then in 1984 TVR decided to change the name to 280i. 1970s was the time for the new then wedge shaped design. Lamborghini, Ferrari, Lotus, most of the sports cars appeared in this very fashion back then design. TVR of course went into this shape thanks to the new main designer Oliver Winterbatten, who was working before for Lotus and had some experience with the Italian legend Giorgetto Giugiaro. But Tasmin did not start out very strongly. For example, 1982 they sold only 121 cars, the first year even less. And then slowly slowly they increased the production, so in total TVR built 1167 Tasmin or later 280i cars in both versions coupe and convertible up to the end of the production in 1987. Now this number is for the V6 cars with Ford 2.8 liter column engine. But TVR built as well some Tasmin cars with the cheap Ford Pinto 4 cylinder 2 liter engine. Wasn't very successful and they ended up only with 61 cars built was known as a Tasmin 200. In some time TVR wanted more powerful car, because the 2 liter Pinto engine was only 100 horsepower and the more popular 2.8 liter V6 like the car in front of us was 160 horsepower. But wasn't enough, so in 1983 V8 TVR 350i appeared, with engine borrowed from Rover 3500. This was the real deal. And this model stayed a little bit longer in production till 1989. For that period, TVR built 949 cars with the V8 3.5 liter engine, again in both versions coupe and convertible. In 1984, even TVR 390SE was presented with 3.9 liter L large engine. This was expensive and they built only 103 of these. But more expensive was 420 SE, you guessed by the name, it's a 4.2 liter, only 7 ever built. Other models appeared after 1988 till 1991, 400 SE, 430 and 450 even SE, so with engine size 4.5 liter. From all this, TVR built just 287 cars. In total, this TVR car with this weight shape design was in production from 1980 to 1991, with all versions engines from 2 liter to 4.5 liters, and 2574 were produced, again with all versions 2 liter, the V6 2.8 and all V8 engines. But now we need to give attention to the car in front of us, the 1985 TVR 280i convertible. We said it was designed by Oliver Winterbatten. It's a sports two door car with two or two plus two seats. The chassis is steel tubular space frame with fiberglass body panels. Very cool and modern technology for the time. All four corners, disc brakes, front double wishbones, and rear semi tailing arm suspension. 15 inch alloy wheels with tires 205 15. Of course, it's very classic configuration front longitudinal mounted engine, manual or automatic gearbox if you want, drive shafts and rear wheel drive. The engine, we said early, is a V6 Ford 2.8 liter 2792 cc and producing 160 horsepower or 150 horsepower for the later cars, but was with very big torque actually, 220 newton meters. Of course, fuel injected to feed the cylinders. About the gearbox, there were three types, four speed manual, five speed manual, or three speed automatic, but all four units. The weight of the car is absolutely perfect, just over one ton, 1074 kilograms, which lightweight helps a lot, of course, for the performance of the car. The maximum speed is 130 miles per hour or 209 kilometers per hour. 
for the early cars with 160 horsepower and 206 km per hour or 128 miles per hour for the 150 horsepower engine cars. The acceleration from 0 to 100 km per hour or 62 miles per hour just over 8 seconds. Being with Ford power plant and all mechanical stuff, with very light fiberglass body and treated chassis and the components of course, the car was very reliable. No major issues except some electrical problems or build quality. The Tasmin was the first production car in the world to have bonded windscreen, instead of the well-known windscreen in gasket, so before any other car manufacturer in the world. The other innovation the car had, before anyone in the world of course, was the integrated aerial into the rear screen heater element. So TVR was innovative company. It's not what you think, only old tradition and style, but they had really some innovations. We said many parts had been sourced from Ford, engine, gearbox, but also the steering, the suspension, the brakes, the discs from Ford as well, the external door handles, the radiator, the cooling system, the rear light, and many other parts sourced from Ford. But not only from Ford. For example, the differential was from Jaguar XJS, and really many, many parts from different car manufacturers, from Renault, Peugeot, Rover, etc. etc. was a bit all in one. But the alloy wheels were specifically designed in England for TVR and made in England, so later versions of course they went to OZ racing wheels. The coupe version is looking very good as well, with this extra glass on the back to improve the rear view, something similar to Lamborghini Espada, but really looks very very good from every angle. I was very near to buy a coupe version some years ago, but I didn't. The TVR 280i was exported to USA market as well, but wasn't very successful business there. We said early 1167 V6 2.8 liter Tasmins or 280i were produced in the both coupe and convertible configuration, but more of them 862 are convertibles. So the car is not that mass produced, it's a quite a rare gem, and to see today on the road it's uh, actually very rare. Very cool car and I think deserves more attention because of the, on the end it's a British, very rare, fiberglass body, amazing design, even very reliable. So this car definitely will bring Mayo on the face and joy from the right. Just over one ton, plus 160 horsepower, convertible, what do you want more? It's not expensive, so you're not gonna be scared of driving the car hard in any weather conditions. Today you can find nice example from $10,000 up or even less for some cars that need an attention. But as we said early, the car is very simple. All Ford mechanic and power plant, Jaguar differential, that means it's very easy to repair the car. It's not going to cost you a fortune, but once you maintain correctly the car, it's not gonna have any problems. This really is a bargain priced hand built British sports car, but the car didn't have the success of the previous TVR generations, something similar to Triumph, old Triumph cars TR2, 3, 4, 5 up to TR6 are very desirable, but then from TR7 not that loved cars. Inside the interior is very simply made with not that much attention, but everything is nice real leather, so the feeling is amazing. The dashboard is made from wood, not real of course, and looks stunning by the way. Down on the floor you can feel the very thick carpet, typical for 1980s, massive center console, because as we said earlier the car is rear wheel drive, all the sporty rear wheel drive cars have that very big massive center console which is good for the long ride, you can rest your hands there. With wheelbase just over 2.4 meters, the car is long just over 4 meters, 4 meters and 10 millimeters is wide, 1 meter 727 millimeters and is high just over 1 meter and 200 millimeters. We mentioned earlier, the curb weight is just over 1 ton, 1074 kilograms, 
the aerodynamic is not that good. The drag coefficient is 0 0.37. And compare with 1990, let's say, Opel Calibra or Vauxhall Calibra, which had 0 0.29, it's a very big number. And we can see quite a 1980s design, especially very much Lotus design, but this is understandable as we mentioned earlier. The designer is the same who was working for Lotus before in 1970s. This designer created for Lotus some amazing cars, of course, Lotus Elite and then Eclat XL, the original XL, because later on the XL in 1984 was redesigned by Peter Stevens, the same who did the design of McLaren F1. But this is a different story. So guys, I hope you liked the video about this TVR 280i convertible. If you like, please subscribe my channel and see you next time guys. Bye.